Visionary leadership is a blessing, and Newman University has been deeply blessed. Under the caring guidance of Dr. Rosalie Miranda, who served as president for 21 years, Newman achieved university status, tripled its enrollment, expanded its academic offerings, and became a university where there are no limits to student success. From the moment they enter here as freshmen, Dr. Miranda has been engaged with our students, and she has made students here a priority in everything that she's done. Uh, she cares about people, and she wants them to, to grow into everything that God wants of them. Um, so she wants a student to, or a faculty member or a colleague, to be their very best. She just kind of gave me that extra confidence in knowing that you can do anything you want. I mean, she grew up in South Philadelphia and she wanted to become a nurse. And at that time, not everyone just became a nurse. So me being a girl in the sports industry, that really pushes me to try my best and always do better. She taught me that you know, no matter where you come from or, you know, what background you have or what school you come from or what area, you know, everybody has a place here in New York. I've seen Dr. Miranda present with the students at more events than any person I know. Every single person on this campus or anywhere that she went was important to her. Rosalie always has a word of encouragement, a source of hope, and again, I believe that comes from the deep faith that she has in God deep religious faith, but you know, just a, a, an awareness that through her enthusiasm and her energy, she can build up others. Dr. Miranda knew how to be the presence that she needed to be at different times. So she could shift from being in a ball gown to go into a hockey game. And wherever she was, she was able to provide a real authentic sense of presence. My impression of Dr. Miranda is that she's the whole embodiment of Newman. I really want to be someone like her. As people who know St. Francis know very well, a part of his understanding of our relationship with others is that we're all brothers and sisters. No one's superior to anyone else. She was much like a member of the family as she led the university. And I think the fact that the university has such a family spirit is a sign of her presence and her leadership. And one day in late April, I, I was on the campus here. Dr. Miranda and I walked around the campus the entire day. We met probably 300 students in that day, course of that day. It was obvious that she, she had formed a great relationships with students, faculty, and staff on our campus. And she was certainly someone that, that people admired and the students admired and respected and she's done an incredible job. And she, for me, was someone who I admired and, and looked at as a mentor and someone who I looked at as a, as a leader that I would like to follow. You won't be remembered so much for what you did, but for how you treated someone. And I believe that people who know Dr. Miranda feel that they were respected and reverenced. Learning is a lifelong process. And I think just the fact that Rosalie embodied that excitement about learning and for bettering yourself made a lot of people what they are today and certainly made Newman what it is today. And today, Newman is a vibrant university built on its commitment to reverence, integrity, service, excellence, and stewardship. Gospel values for today and for generations to come. <laughs>